guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching The Goonies. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a fun movie called The Goonies. This one has been suggested a fair amount by you guys over on Patreon. I've definitely seen comments for this one before. And for some reason, when I was Googling fun, lighthearted movies that are not Halloween themed, but fun to watch around Halloween, this one came up. I don't really know if looking at it, if it really does make sense for this time of year or not. I have a really hard time uh, deciding what to put in polls sometimes because I don't like to do research on the movies too much because I don't want to spoil anything for myself about the film. So then it kind of leaves me like looking at the genre and then guessing if I think it would be fitting for a poll that I'm putting it in. So if this really isn't even remotely close to related to Halloween or anything spooky, then I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that future polls over on Patreon will be more in line with the spooky season. I don't know anything about this movie except for, I think, in the poll that I did for this film on Patreon, some of you guys mentioned that there are a lot of references in this movie that are kind of a sign of the times. This movie was made in the 80s, and I think from what some people have said, there's a lot of references to stuff that was going on at that time, a lot of 80s jokes. So if that's the case and they go above my head, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was born in the 90s, but really I'm a child of the early 2000s. I will do my best to try to be mindful of that and try to catch jokes if I can. I will say there's definitely some more campy stuff that I've seen though that I really like and stuff that was made in the 80s that maybe a lot of the jokes are referencing the 80s, but I still enjoy those films. So I think... I'm gonna still like this one regardless. I'm down to have a good time either way. I mean, The Never Ending Story was made in the 80s and I still had fun watching that movie with you guys. It still made me cry, it still moved me. So um, I'm excited for this one today and to see what it's all about. And in all honesty, I don't wanna talk for too much with this one because I just finished filming a lot of other stuff today and I've already talked a lot. So I kinda just wanna get on into the movie and have a good time with y'all. And if you guys are ready, grab a drink. Grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Hey, turkey! <gasps> oh, I thought he escaped, but nope, he hung himself. Did he actually hang himself? To who it may concern. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill him? Kill myself. <gasps> it was a prank. Oh my god, the style of this really is so hammy already. Look at this outfit that this man is wearing in jail. He's got a scarf and a, and a shiny little vest. Are they gonna burn the jail down? Oh my God, this is hilarious. I love it already, I gotta say, I love this already. Look at these criminals, he's got a fedora. This guy looks like a hipster from Brooklyn, not a not a criminal. Oh, look at him, he's so stylish. Oh wait, this guy has a fedora. Sorry, the other guy had a newsboy cap. I always mix up the names of those hats. And the driver has pearls. <laughs> ah! He's gotta roll down the window because it's the 80s and the cars. Y'all had to wind them down. That's so freaking funny. Sean Astin is in this? Y'all, I'm so pumped. You have no idea. I already love this. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's try the victory pyramid. Are they gonna drive through this football practice and this cheerleader practice? Oh no, they're not. Okay. Oh, lady, get out of the street. Oh my God. Is the water going down, son? Uh, nope. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if all these kids that we're passing are gonna come back into play. They must be relevant somehow. Oh yeah. Oh, is this the same little kid? F oh, I recognize him. Is this the same little kid from Indiana Jones? <laughs> Kei Hui Kwan, I'm so sorry for mispronouncing his name. It's totally him, because they said his name in the title cards. I love that little kid. What the hell are we doing here? I trusted your old mother, boy. Your old mother? It's her, it's their mother? What is this? Oh, oh, car race. <gasps> is this in Oregon? That's totally Cannon Beach, isn't it? I've been there. I just went there recently on a road trip. Oh wow, they're they're winning the race like it's nothing. Wow. I'm something worse. I know I'm something worse. I'll tell you, Brand. What kind of a name is Brand? Were there a lot of brands in the eighties? Are these just nicknames for them? Oh, mouth. Hey, Mikey, see your dreams. Hey, somebody's eating Rocky. I just watched that. That's great. Down in the bruise, but no. 
I don't think you should be downing any bruise, little kid. Flunking your driver's test? Oh, he flunked his driver's test and he let them all down. <laughs> Is this how they're going to unlock the door? Did they invent a whole little domino effect series of, of systems that... <laughs> Then unlock the gate because they're too lazy to just go do it themselves. <laughs> and it re one of them relies on the chicken hatching an egg. <laughs> that is so much more work. You have to use to go reset everything if he wants to let somebody else in. Oh my god, this is amazing. Twins of flight. <gasps> Wait, this kid always is just doing little zip lining stunts. That's his thing. I bet you guys thought I was going to throw it. He's going to drop it now, huh? I know you would think that from good old Chuck. Oh you my idiot! Aww, he, look, he did fine. Perfect, huh? It's perfect. Oh, wow. The d fell off. That's what? my mom's most favorite piece. That's my mom's favorite <laughs> Guys, it can be glued. Calm down. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Maybe there's some stuff up there for us. So Maybe food. there's some rich stuff. Oh some God. rich stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. This friend Walsh is such a troublemaker. He just really be starting man. Is this where they're gonna go on their little adventure in this attic? We only have old Hanukkah decorations in our attic. Of course the chubby kid is Jewish. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Mikey is so sweet. Look at him trying to do the right thing. Walsh is, look at that little smirk on his face. He's just trying to start Oh, something magical is about to happen because there's a thunderstorm going on outside. Oh, is this a magical painting? Oh, it's a map. Oh, cue the mystical music. Is this the inciting incident? You know, it has got this big thing. He gave it to him so he wouldn't get in trouble for breaking it open, but because he knew Chunk would break it open. That's so funny, and he just counted there all hammy. One-eyed Willie. Yeah, he was the most famous pirate in his time. Oh. He found out about it, and then he set up this whole armada to go out after him. And then the armada, it took him a couple weeks, but then... It took him a couple weeks, and then they got... <laughs> it looks like he's almost reading this off of a cue card right now, <laughs> the way he's looking out. Doesn't it look like he's reading it off of a cue card? <laughs> Reclusive scavenger claims I have the key to one eye. Wow, how convenient. It's almost like his dad has been doing research on One-Eyed Willy for years. Just what if this map can lead to One-Eyed Willy's rich stuff? Right? Oh, they want to try to get the treasure and then they can save their houses. My dad's not home, Mr. Perkins. Is your mommy here? The way he said mommy to this like teenager boy. So condescending. Is your mommy here? <laughs> and this kid is like wearing a muscle tee and bench pressing. <laughs> He's like not a mommy level child. So is this story going to end with these Goonies finding the treasure and actually getting to keep their houses? Because that's really cute. Aww. They have a really sweet relationship. No. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. You know, like they give each other shit, but in the normal brotherly love kind of way. They're really adorable. What are we going to do about that country club? It's killing our parents. The country club. That's what they want to build at the Goondocks. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna have this secret meeting right in front of him. Oh, it's not that hard. Oh my god. They're gonna strap him down like that. Really? Oh my god. They all attacked him. <laughs> That's how they did it. This is, I love this already. I'm, I'm having a great time. Especially since I just went to Oregon recently. Ma. Ma. Oh my god. Poor Rosalita. Look at her. She's like, oh my god. They really are horrible here. You know what? I actually think I drove through Astoria too. Because it's a coastal town, and I drove from Cannon Beach up the coast of Oregon into Washington and drove along the Washington coastline into Seattle. I took, like, that that bridge, like, the really long truss bridge. I think it's, like, the longest truss bridge in the United States from Oregon to Washington. <gasps> no! Oh, that's so mean! Don't you let me eat my dinner if you're gonna punish me! It's gonna be okay. Oh, Cannon Beach, they're totally going to Cannon Beach. This is great. This is the best time for me to watch this movie now that I've been here and went recently. <laughs> oh no, are they gonna run in with some of their friends? Is he gonna run in with some of his high school friends and they're gonna make fun of him because he's on a little bike? No wonder he can't get all of it. Oh, come on. Like everybody would know that he failed his first driver's test. Usually you keep that a secret. Can we give you a ride somewhere? Oh, it's the cheerleader. Oh, she's, okay, that's how she's relevant, I see. Oh, wait. This is totally a reference, isn't it? 
Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Troy could have like literally killed Bran. <laughs> Why are Troy's always just total jerks or like the lead in like High School Musical? Like that's, th those are the only options for Troy's. Guys! <sighs> <gasps> it matches up. Except Walsh is standing in the middle of it. And that's where you'll find the tree. The tree, the, the rich stuff. The tree, the rich stuff. How convenient that this map is very easy to follow and no one has ever tried to look for this treasure before. <laughs> Presumably. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's already gone. Oh, they're skipping together. It's so cute. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. Does that sound like gunshot? Honestly, it really did sound like a gunshot. <laughs> Chunk might be right about the gunshot thing. What's that? Come on, hurry up. See, they are. Oh, it's the pr it's the prisoners. Yes, it's totally the. Pr oh, Chunk is gonna let them see him. He's gonna get caught, isn't he? Oh no, they're not. Oh, Chunk figured it out, and they're not gonna listen to him. Oh no, they don't. They're not gonna listen to him. Oh, he's totally right. <laughs> the only thing we serve is tongue. No. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> these poor kids. Oh. <laughs> Oh, ORV, four-wheel drive, bullet holes the size of matzo balls. The size of matzo balls. Chunk, you gotta stop yelling. Oh, yeah, yeah, shut, shut up. up. No, he's he's telling the truth. Why would he lie? Oh, cause, oh, right, because he's been established as kind of an exaggerator or a liar. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's gonna take this as a, a chance to look for one-eyed Willie. Oh, my God. What a bold little boy. Stay. What the f***? He's, this guy's singing Italian, and it also sounds like there's a bear down here. Who is this guy that they have prison in prison down here? He's hungry. Is it a monster? What is it down there? Oh, boy. We're going to see his face later, aren't we? I bet he's really not a threat at all. He just wanted food. <gasps> it's Brand! Brand found him. Oh, my God. Oh, they're high school friends joined. Okay. Oh, these two girls are going to get in trouble. Oh my god. Are you serious? They got scared by a dead fish on a rake that they stepped on themselves. No. Listen, give them a few minutes. As long as you stay here with me. Oh, this poor friend is the third wheel now. I got it. I don't got it. You clutch. Is water gonna reveal what's on the floor, maybe? Man, Chunk really is the unsung hero. Like there's a hole. Yeah, Chunk is literally, they could not do this without him. Where are you? You're in the clouds and we are in a basement. <laughs> Her friend kind of reminds me of, um, which Sex in the City character? Uh, Miranda. <laughs> you guys, I recognize these people. Look at it's a Fratelli. Let's scream about it until they hear us and come back. And they got chocolate eruption. And they got apple. What else is in there? Oh boy. Something else is in there. Chunk really is finding everything. Like they could not do. I bet he's alive. No? Is he dead? Oh no, they shot him in the head. He's dead. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> Don't close data. Wait, who is it? Who's in there? Guys, you left a kid in there. Didn't they just lock a kid in the freezer? Did they just lock Chunk in there? Who did they lock in there? Somebody's in the freezer. Guys, I'm stuck with the stick. He's in here. Oh my God, these guys are so horrible to Chunk. How did you guys forget about him? Oh my God. He's gonna die of hypothermia. Somebody's been here, the cooler's broken. Probably a tremor. Go check your brother. Probably a tremor. I'll show you a tremor. Oh Jesus, she really likes to slap that one. Wait, are you kidding me? He could, he could have opened the freezer the whole time himself? Okay, now I have no sympathy. <laughs> you could have gotten yourself out of that situation, dude. Get Go get what? How is he supposed to sneak out the other way? I don't know if Chunk's gonna make it out the window. I knew he could break them chains. Oh my God, he did, he escaped. But you know, my drop my glasses, I can't see a thing. <gasps> She dropped her glasses where her glasses stepped on. You know, that's such a classic trope in all movies like this. Whoever wears glasses always gets the shit end of the stick. They're just blind for half the movie because their glasses get stepped on. Stop! I'm just a kid! Why do I feel like this is a criminal? It's totally one of the Fratellis, isn't it? I can describe all three of them. Yep. That reveal is so great. Oh, Chunk, you, oh, you almost got away. Oh, he's with the stiff again. Oh, no. So maybe if we bang on him hard enough, if we make enough noise. Ah! 
Oh, you're just gonna break them though. Oh my God, does it lead to the country club? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. It leads to, the, his friend isn't even phased. I think Daddy. Daddy. What? I honestly feel like uh, that would completely, like that would ruin me from using a public restroom ever again. <laughs> Friends are. In the fireplace. Don't lie to me. Oh, this poor kid. Why does nobody believe him? Nobody ever believes him. He's telling the truth. In third grade, I cheated on my history exam. In fourth grade, I stole my Uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I played Moses in my Hebrew school play. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a cute little kid. Before my hair falls out, before I look like him. <laughs> She's having a mental break. Oh my God. One of your tricks isn't one of Willie. Really. Oh, little Sean Aston is so cute. Oh, he's got an inhaler. His little inhaler. Candles! Wait, let me have it. I'll put you Those are not candles! Oh no! Booby traps! That's what I said! Booby traps! Quiet! Shh! God, <laughs> these guys. God, these guys. <laughs> I love this actor so much. He's so adorable. Look at this! Uh oh. I love how they all still work perfectly, even though most of them are, are used by rope. Oh my god, this little kid, it's like another Indiana Jones with a big boulder. Oh my god. Get out of there, guys! There's another boulder. Bran, God put that rock there for a purpose, and um, well, I'm not so sure you should um, move it. Honey, you've been blocked the other way out. I bet it's like bats. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what's funny? As a kid, bats were never a thing that scared me. I mean, I think if a, if a, oh, look at, look at, look at the puppets. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, I think if bats swore me like that, I'd be scared. But in movies, bats never scared me because I've had bats in my house and stuff as a kid. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. Oh, this guy holding Chunk, I think, really likes him. Well, I'm beginning to like this kid, Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I called it. He's smi smiling at him. Oh, don't do that to him. You're not going to put him in a blender. What? He's been telling the truth the whole time. You might want to hold my hand. Thank you. Oh. What, now Mikey's helping Andy? Oh, look. There's lots of coins or gems. I don't know. You know what's funny? He was actually already soaking wet before that, it looked like. Maybe not. It looks like he was, which means, like, they probably had him do another take. Probably a couple hundred years before. Oh, wow. President Lincoln. Oh, that's really smart. I'm glad to know you're using your brain. Yeah, well, at least I have a brain. So stupid, Mouth. Oh my God, she's so mean to him. Clearly they have crushes on each other, but it's weird because I feel like they have a big age difference, but maybe not. I put it this way. I didn't make it with her yet. And I stress yet. Oh, please. Oh, this is the well. It's right up there. And he's going to hear this conversation. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, they're laughing at her too. They're not even phased that she's in the well. Like, I'd be scared. It's so funny. They were like, it was like they expected her to be there. <laughs> Hi, sir. My name's Lawrence. So sometimes people call me Chuck. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's, what's up with their brother? He's deformed, so they've locked him up. Like, what's going on with this? This family is messed up. But how far we've come, we got a chance. Oh, he's gonna try to convince them all to stay. Look, if we keep going, someone's really gonna get hurt. Andy should leave, for sure. Also, so should the girl who can't see. <laughs> Probably. Goonies never say die. I'm not a goonie. I wanna go home. Well, yeah, let Andy go home. She wants to go home. That's fine. The next time you see Sky, it'll be over another town. What, her too? Does she live by the goondocks too? I guess it's like the whole town is being affected by this then. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this little motivational speech from Minnie Sean. That's all over the second we ride up Troy's bucket. Yeah, but you also have murderers after you. <laughs> it's terrifying. But they're all gonna stay. This inhaler. This is so cute. Does she just pass her sweater back? Oh, it's the one that was a gift from Troy. She gave his gift back, I see. You want a candy bar? What do you do now? Oh, look, I got a baby Ruth, sir. <laughs> oh, there, he's gonna befriend him with candy. Baby Ruth. Why do his ears wiggle? 
That was the final straw. The chocolate, that's what did it to him. Oh my God. Jeez, mister. You're even hungrier than I am. <laughs> this guy must be instrumental in helping the kids because he's like big and strong. So he must be able to help the kids. I just don't know what the point is of him like looking the way he does and why they've got him locked up down here. Quiet, Mikey, quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> it was a booby trap. Oh no. Oh my God, not Dana. Oh wow, the zoom on her face. Oh, he had an invention to save him. Are you kidding me? He just happened to have an invention up his sleeve, literally. Brand, Brand. We'll see what she's ragging about, will ya? Ha, ah, Brand doesn't care anymore. He's annoyed by her. Oh my God, that's so funny. When did, when did it happen that Brand got over? Oh, oh my God. Mikey's a little too young for you, girl. Oh, it looks like a skull. They're totally going the right way. What's the name of this other girl, the friend, Steph? I bet Steph and Brand will get together or something. She's also been yelling at Walsh a lot. I don't know. I feel like something funny will happen there. How, how can she even see anything without her glasses on? This poor girl just ran across a wet, slippery log with no glasses. I got a great idea, you guys. Slick shoes. Slick shoes, are you crazy? Oh, he's gonna oil up, grease up the log. Man, he really has a ton of inventions. Oh, geez. He's actually, they're shooting at him. Oh no, guys, go. You guys, look. There, there are notes on this. Andy. Oh, who plays music? Andy? It's gotta be Andy? I was four years old. Are you kidding me? She's just gonna play it perfectly now? Oh God, this has gotta be stressful. Sight singing, un sightseeing under pressure. Oh, it's an organ. Way to go. I'm coming back Come on. now. You can oh. oh my God, this is the most stressful situation in which to try to play the piano again. <laughs> Oh, that was wrong. Oh my God, that didn't work. I believe in you. Cooties always make mistakes. Just don't make any more. <laughs> Just don't make any more. Oh my God, this is so high stakes for poor fragile little Andy who's having a mental breakdown. Oh my God, he's, that boxing glove and the I, 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 I noise. <laughs> I can't believe he just had a boxing glove in his chest and you wouldn't, oh. Oh wow, she really can't mess it up anymore. Go, good job, Andy. What are you doing? It's the map! Get out of here, go! The map, good job, Andy. Good job, Andy. Smarty pants, look at her. It's a miracle the mat hasn't gotten wet at this point. Oh my God, it's a water slide. This totally has to be a ride. This is incredible. And also, where did they film this? Did they just like go to a water park and then put a bunch of like weird looking weeds in the tunnel and then light it and line cameras all along the tunnel? Oh my God. And then follow them with a camera? That's clearly a stunt guy too. Oh my God, the way, maybe not, but the way he's spinning is so funny. Oh, they found the treasure, didn't they? Oh, look, Walsh and Steph are hugging. Yeah, they're totally gonna, maybe they'll get together. Oh my God, this ship is in pristine condition. That's amazing. Look at it. It looks so lovely. Doesn't even look that old. Look at those sails. Dad, he doesn't care. Put that down. Well, have some respect. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah, don't put it down. Don't listen to them. You got criminals after you, Mikey. You need that sword. Where's the gold? Where's the gold, Mikey? Yeah, get get gold. Oh my goodness. They all just snapped really quick. Oh, uh, what did Andy do? Oh no, wait, actually, she probably found the treasure. Good job, Andy. I take it back. <laughs> oh yeah, this is totally it. Look at this beautifully lit room. Oh, wow. It's so interesting, all these men, maybe we touched on this in the first story. They all died here fighting over the treasure. And their bodies were just left here to decompose. That's One-Eyed Willie. <gasps> it's funny that the skeletons have been completely decayed, but the clothes are still in relatively good condition. <laughs> Let's go, load up. Anything you can find in your pocket. Mikey, stop. Why? That's Willie's. Oh, okay. That's Willie's? <laughs> All right. <laughs> he respects Willie. That's fun. That's kind of cute. Now that sounds like a great idea. Oh, no. Where's Chunk? Oh, Chunk and Sloth got to be coming. They're going to help him, too. We haven't seen them in a little while. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did he find a pirate hat? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. They both got pirate hats. Where did those come from? Oh, so cute. Oh, are they just gonna flee? Are they not gonna get the treasure? Oh, good, she got a punch in. Ha! <laughs> that woman deserved to be hit after all the time she hit her sons. Where did he get that shirt from? What? Oh my goodness, now they're gonna finally kiss. She's gonna be like, oh, that's different. <laughs> Brent, what happened to your braces? Oh, braces, Mikey, where? Oh boy. 
Mikey, that little sh Oh my god. Oh my god. Lord almighty. Fuck! Uh, I, I only dropped you once. No. Uh, well, maybe twice. No. That's what happened to him. She dropped him, and that's why he is the way he is. This is actually like kind of tragic, the, his story. That's your future. No, Mikey, we stay here and we got no future. Now, come on. Come back. Oh. All that rich stuff. Come on. <laughs> That was so cute. I love those little like, those stylized like, oh no, and people getting yanked out of frame. I love that. Oh, it's so sad. They're not gonna get the treasure. Although it kind of makes sense. I feel like that would have been too good to be true. And the whole point was like the adventure, the last adventure together. Although maybe, maybe something will happen where the country club can't get built. You've made my day. Oh, she's gonna take gold from his pot, isn't she? And then it's gonna be a trap. Yep, here we go. Ah, that was a trap. Oh, the last candle, isn't that dynamite? It's not a candle, it's dynamite! That's perfect! That's exactly what you need, just get far away from it. Oh, is the whole thing caving in around them? Oh my god. Oh my god. They're gonna trap the villains here. Is he gonna get stuck here, though? What about Sloth? Oh, that's kind of weird that they're going under his legs like that. <laughs> oh, what's this trap? Oh, it lifted the anchor? Is it gonna sail out to sea or something, magically? The ship's gonna come around the corner, isn't it? Yes, I love this, I'm so excited. He <laughs> Jesus, this is like too much. This is too much, like it's just all food jokes with Chunk, come on now. Oh, he made a little invention belt too, oh my god. It seemed a little unnecessary, like it might be easier to just hold, hold the camera, <laughs> sir. Oh, that is so cute! You're my best invention, that's adorable. Well, I want to say thank you. <gasps> wow, thank you. Real moment. Can you even see his face, honey? Where are your glasses? Your looks are kind of pretty. Oh. When your face doesn't screw it up. <laughs> and you know, you keep kissing girls the way you do. The parts of you don't work so good. They're gonna catch up to the ones that do. Ew. <laughs> That's kind of a weird way to phrase it. <coughs> the sun, you cannot just overcome asthma like that. That's not how it works. Oh, nice. Look at this, they all have a, he just has a gun right up close to him like that. Holding it like this. <laughs> what kind of protocol is this? You're gonna live with me now. Oh, okay. You made this decision for your parents? I'm sorry, Irene. Come on, Walsh. We don't have all day. There's 50 more houses to tear down after- Oh, Troy's a part of this. What a jerk. What is Rosalita doing here? Ay, Dios mío de mi vida. Ay, Dios mío de mi vida. There's some jewels in there. She's saying, don't do it. Rosalita's the one saving the day right now, even though this, you think she wouldn't like keep the money for herself? What a sweetheart. <laughs> oh, cause they got out with those. Is that really enough to save the whole neighborhood though? All right, All right, All right fellas, that's enough. Show. Telling more stories, Lauren. No, oh my God. Can this ship come around the corner and verify Chunk's story? It's totally happening, isn't it? Very mother of God. Yes. Aw, oh my goodness. What a sweet and cute movie. <laughs> I do feel like I got maybe a couple references, mainly some potential Indiana Jones references. There was a Rocky reference early on into the movie, a Superman reference. I think there were a few references that I got, but I'm sure I missed plenty of other references. I feel like that bicycle scene was a reference to something where, um, Brand had his hand grabbed onto the car and had to bike along speed with it. I feel like that's from something that I've seen, but I couldn't place it. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below because I really recognize that moment. Just from start to finish, it was such a fun ride. So cute. This cast was adorable. I love everything I've seen little Kei Hui Kwan in. Um, he's my favorite character in Temple of Doom. And if it weren't for Sean Connery, he would be my favorite Indiana Jones character. I mean, Harrison Ford obviously is amazing, but in terms of like secondary characters, uh, Kei Hui Kwan is so cute. I loved him as a child actor. He's just adorable. Little Sean Astin was so cute as well. It took me such a long time to really like figure out who he was because, you know, it's funny now that I know that that was him. It does look like him, but he definitely grew into his eyes and his features a bit more. Such a cute little kid, such a great little actor. Um, and... 
brilliant, you know, as he got older and played some more hefty roles. He's great, and uh, I'm happy to see him in an adorable film like this. This movie was just really fun. You know, I felt like I was on a ride the whole time I watched it, and some of it was classic and stuff that I expected to happen and just perfect, though, and really enjoyable and fun. There were definitely some moments that uh, would not fly <laughs> in this day and age, you know? Uh, things like with uh, the character Sloth, it just seemed a little unnecessary, making him like this fearful character. He's chained up in the basement and his ears wiggle when he talks. And it's just poor sloth. Like that just that kind of stuff wouldn't fly in today's day and age. Or even just the constant jokes about Chunk just because he's chubby and constantly joking about him eating and stuff like that. Like you wouldn't necessarily see that in today's day and age. That was definitely stuff that flew more back in the day. But it's still fun to revisit movies and see things like that and you know, you can really see, oh, wow, yeah, the times are different. <laughs> and it's still a lot of fun. There were a lot of fun moments in this movie, a lot of hamminess, but in a good way, a lot of campiness, but in a good way, cheesy stuff. Just so heartwarming and adorable. I really had fun while watching it. I really liked it. It's funny because I know some people were like, oh, you probably won't like it because it's just such an 80s film, but I loved it. I think it was a lot of fun. And I would totally watch it again. I think if I was going to watch it again, I'd want to show it to like some of my friends who haven't seen it because I think it would be fun to watch with other people. I hope that it like is made into a ride or something someday. Maybe it already is a ride. I think it deserves to be a ride. This is an amazing movie and it felt like a ride the whole time I was watching it. The whole time they were going through the tunnels, playing the piano, the water slide sequence. I mean, all of it. I would totally go on a ride themed around the Goonies. <laughs> And all in all, I just had a lot of fun watching this, and I'm really excited to hear your guys' comments down below. But until the next one, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.